Uh, this is the cast iron panini. I'm, I'm putting it up at about 500. I want to get this, uh, mark this bread. The, the bread you want to use, you want to try to get a bread that's got a little more sugar in it. Uh, this morning I went to the bakery and I, I didn't have really much choice, so I got some sourdough. If you have something like that, it's very common that you'll see people put uh, spray or butter on the exterior of the, of the sandwich just to get the, good, uh, the mark. I'm not going to get too worried here about a recipe on a sandwich. Here's one we did in the first uh, um, session today just to show you that what you're really looking for in these. Again, to add um, value, a very uh, upscale looking sandwich, specialty items in there, avocados, unique combinations for sandwiches. You can see if you go to these restaurants, the list of sandwiches that they offer and all the different combinations. It's really what you're going for. Um, just a, something other than a grilled sandwich or your traditional uh, sandwich fare. I should have had this preheating a little bit. They do take a little time to heat up. I think you probably want to let this heat up for maybe about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, the cast iron, and this, this being cast iron, will retain that heat better than the aluminum plate versions. And once this gets hot, it really retains that heat, so that's the advantage of the cast iron. This particular model, as we talk about uh, how to clean up, we've got the front uh, collection drawer here. So when we get the, the extra pieces of the sandwich that are left behind, you just want to take it and scrape it to the front. You can use a wire brush on this unit. Um, on our aluminum one, the cleanup would be similar. You turn it off. You want to wipe it down. Again, if it's the coated unit, you don't want to be using the brush. Just a towel. Wipe the grades clean. In this unit, the collection point for any liquids would be in the back, where that little cup will hang. Which, so if we just take a simple, just for this panini, we'll just take something real quick here, just to get you an idea. If you were gonna demo this unit, just build up some little sandwich, throw a couple different items on there, give it a little different look. A little salami, a little sub sauce or something on there. And maybe some tomatoes. And I hear cheese. We won't forget the cheese. All right. That's a Dagwood right there. Wow. <laughs> this one, I'll, this you know, I, uh, sandwich I will spray because it is the sourdough. No, the question was asked, uh, did we spray that surface? I didn't. Um, the cast iron, if you wanted to, you sh could season it. Right. But if you're going to use uh, oils and so forth, you don't need to. We kind of tried this at... Uh, Walrath when we were demoing these units and this works better if you get a, a bread with a little more sugar in it. And this unit probably isn't as hot as it should be at this point, but we'll try it anyway just to give you an idea. You don't need to push down on it real hard. You just kind of want to set it on the sandwich, set it in so that the bread it's kind of marked in by the cast iron. This unit has the adjustable height, this, this guide, very simple. You want to back down the, the bottom nut right here, and you can turn in then the uh, screw, and the, the screw will have a stop point on the bottom, so wherever you decide you want your height to be, you set that to be, and then you want to lock down the bottom nut, and it'll lock that in place so now the top screw can't be adjusted. Again, this is just a soft stop. It's not intended to you know, be something where you can really put a lot of pressure on, but there, there's the stop point for that sandwich. Uh, it, you know, it's more applicable, I suppose, if, if you've got uh, a certain sandwich you're gonna be repeating over and over and over in that oven, or excuse me, in that grill. You can also use this height adjustment. So if you had something that was a, uh, a flat, very thin item that you wanted to open face sandwich, you wanted to melt, melt the cheese on it, you could put that in the oven and this would then prevent from touching down on top of the product. 
and be more of a radiant heat source. Excellent point.